I decided to let more color in my life and if you're looking for an exciting, bright and funky manicure, this is a tutorial for you too. Hello everyone! In my nail art tutorials I like to show you a bunch of awesome nail art ideas but today I decided for something different. I'll show you how to create a super cute and complete mix and match manicure. It is very bright, interesting and fun. I absolutely love it and I hope you'll too. Start off by applying a base coat. This will protect your nails and help to prevent nail polish from chipping. Just wait for the base coat to dry and we're ready for some color. I want my ring finger to be all glam and sparkly, so I'm first applying two coats of metallic silver polish. Need even more bling bling? I do, so on top I'm applying a glitter polish that contains chunkier pieces of silver and other colored glitter. I want to have most of the glitter on the upper part of the nail and less towards the tip. Applying glitter over the metallic polish brings that richness and dimension and I love how these two combine. On the middle finger and the thumb I will make a colorful circles design. This design is all about having fun with a mixture of bright colors and to start with I'm applying two coats of peachy orange polish. Once it has dried, take your second background color and make kind of a stripe across the middle of the nail. You don't have to be precise at all, you just need a random patch for now because we are going to make it look neat in a sec. Take a large dotting tool or if you don't have it like me, Q-tips will work just as great. Dip the Q-tip in your second background polish, which is green in my case, and make dots on the bottom edge of the green patch to get sort of a cloud shape. Now dip Q-tip in your first background color, mine is peachy, and make dots on the upper edge of the patch. Make some dots a bit lower than others for a more interesting look. Now it's time to start playing with dots. These are the colors I chose. You can use whatever colors you prefer. I went for a lot of different colors for my design because I want it to be full of life, happy and fun. First we need to make several large dots randomly all over the nail. For this I'm still using my Q-tips. Be sure to leave some space between each dot, you don't want them to overlap. Now I will be using some different sizes of dotting tools. If you don't have any, you can use a toothpick or the end of a bobby pin. Make smaller dots on top of the large ones and some between them to fill in the empty space. The design looks great if you choose contrasting colors when dotting smaller dots on top of the bigger ones. This way the colored rings are clearly seen. Also, be sure to include some silver dots and dots in the colors you chose for the base, which is green and orange for me. Combining these three colors will bring our whole manicure together. I love how you can play with different color combinations and make many unique designs using this technique. My design is perfect for this time of the year, it reminds me of Carnival because it's so rich, full and bright. I'm going to make the same design on my thumbnail. So let's repeat the steps. Orange base, green patch across the middle of the nail, green dots on the bottom edge of the patch and orange on the upper edge. After that it's again time to get all out with dots of different colors and sizes. Dot here, dot there, dot everywhere and looks perfect, right? For the pointer and pinky use the same colors that you used for the base on the thumb and the middle finger. I chose green for the pointer and orange for the pinky. A secret of perfect mix and match manicure is in choosing two to three main polish colors and combining them on at least one nail. This really brings your manicure together. To make the solid nails a bit more special and girly, add a silver rhinestone. Make a dot of top coat where you want the rhinestone to be and quickly place it on. Mine is actually a cute little star. Finally apply top coat on all the nails to protect the manicure and add some shine. Top coat will also seal the rhinestones in place so they won't fall off. This is how our finished result looks like. I really like how the colors complement each other. The design is perfect for spring and summer which is finally coming and I'm so excited about it. I'm so happy how this manicure turned... Oh my god, this nail art was freaking I awesome! Know, I know, Shh. Please let me know what kind of nail art videos do you like more. The ones where I show you different nail art ideas or complete manicures. Find me on social media where you can share your recreations with me. Bye! Wearing bright colors always gets me in a better mood and I hope you'll try to make these happy nails too.